What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Um, today we're just gonna install some light modification. Well it's not technically a modification, it's like light mods for aesthetics. Um, we got this. Um, I call it a shark fin or a fish fin. I don't know how you actually call it. Um, got it off Amazon. Um, based on this review, it's actually pretty sturdy. I like it. I like it a lot. And um, it's a good thing that um, it didn't come with a 3M tape. It came with a 3M tape when I ordered it. However, I'll be using my own 3M tape since it's going to be a heavy duty one. And um, excuse the mess on the trunk. I have so much stuff that I have to install by no time. But yeah, I'll just put some 3M tape on this one real quick and I'll show you the end results. Okay guys, as I mentioned earlier, we're putting a 3M tape on this one. So for this, we're just gonna uh, surround the 3M tape right over here, around the edges and make sure that everything's like flush and clean. And on the other side, we'll do the same thing. And as for the uh, cutting materials, I purchased this through um, Amazon, it's actually a gold label detailing vinyl kit, accessory kit, tools. So it's gonna come with the uh, squidgy, uh, some blades, and also another blade for just in case you wanna install some vinyls. And actually, um, this is my first time using it, so it's pretty much, I guess, uh, another review of how this works. And as for today's little project, we'll be using this small knife to make sure all the uh, edges is gonna be clean and flush and nothing's like there's no extra residue where the wind or water could um, leak into it whenever you're driving so we'll see so as you can see like right now we're halfway done with the first one and uh, before applying 3m tape make sure to clean it with the uh, rubbing alcohol and some microfiber towel to make sure the 3m tape sticks into it really well and as you were doing it, I didn't get to show it to you. Um, just preheat, preheat the 3M tape to make sure it'll stick really good, okay? go make sure you press on it firmly after preheating them as of right now I don't really have a blow dryer or a heat gun I'm actually working in my garage and it's pretty cold it's like 50 degrees right now here in New York and we'll move on to the other one and I'll show you what's gonna look like for both all right so this is gonna look like 3M tape um, I kind of pre-heated it with my on my hood because I just drove the car for like uh, 20 minutes or half hour so that should pretty heat up I should heat up the um, 3M tape a little bit and next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna wipe or we're gonna install the thing with our rubbing alcohol make sure get rid of the debris and so it'll stick good All right and after that make sure this is the right one <laughs> I don't even know if this is the right one uh, I believe no it's the other one <laughs> alright so that's what it's gonna look like, the end result. There you go. It actually looks nice on it. Right now it's not for the stick yet. And I'll go ahead, take the 3M tape off, uh, plastic on it and install it. And I'll do the same thing on the other side. And so it's gonna look like. Okay, now the passenger, uh, the driver's side is already installed. 
I'm going to show you how you could install it. So first use a blade or anything that's sharp or you could use your finger as well. But for me, I use this one to make my life easier. Taking this plastic off. So you don't want to peel it all the way out to give you some room. So just in case you want to adjust the fin, it's, you'll have some wiggle room to adjust it. So you want to start here and the other side, which is going to be this one. having a hard time here I don't want to peel the 3m tape off since it's already stuck into it pretty good there you go just peel that off and might as well take this side off since it I kind of did overlap it but if you want as a perfectionist you can just use the blade and cut that thing off. Make sure when you're using the blade, be careful. Be careful. You don't want to cut yourself while installing this and you're just going to piss it off, piss yourself off. Plus, this is just a minor mod for aesthetics and looks for your car. No need to hurt yourself. Alright. So we have this and on this side and we're just going to install it. All right, right now we are about to install the one on the passenger side and right now you can't really see it. I'm using my trunk as the uh, phone holder, but you'll get the idea. I'll show you once I installed it. So right over here, make sure it's placed the way however you want it. Let me show you. So that's how it's gonna look like. Uh, you see, you're gonna use these tabs to adjust, to adjust the fin to uh, the exact adjustment, the exact placement, the however, however you want it to be. And uh, yeah. Make sure when you're peeling the plastic off is you're pressing on the area where you took the tape off so it'll give it a nice firm attachment to it there you go one is off press on it firmly and the other side So we're in the last tab. I uh, figured I might I have to show it to you just in case. Uh, peel this off slowly. And while you're slowly peeling it, make sure you press on it firmly. Give it some secure attachment to it. In the last inch or two. And don't pull it too hard because it's gonna the red thing is gonna rip off. Press on it firmly. I usually want to use a microfiber towel so not to scratch the surface. Get some nice firm pushing it. There you go. That's the complete look of it. This area. It's actually pretty subtle since I have all the chrome deleted. It's actually pretty good. All right, thanks guys. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Leave a comment. I'll really appreciate it.
here's my Instagram and YouTube video. And hope to see you next time. Peace.